Hello everyone, I'm Third Mario Pokemon, Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we began our adventure in the Hoenn Sorry, I forgot Mudkip's name was Dishwater. It's like we what? left off on an extreme cliffhanger in which our mom gave us a new pair of shoes, and they seem to be working very well because they got us to Old Ale Town in about 2.3 seconds, <laughs> which I can totally get behind. Hello there, Mr. Sir. What are you doing today? I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. The Baxter behind that is we don't really go straight to May. Either that way, guy was talking to be like, I found these rare footprints. To embark on so our that's own adventure that. and do exactly what we would like. So, Route 102, let's get this started. I'm going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Oh, man. I am sure you are just the only person on the entire planet who's going to do that. I am so proud of you, dude. Thank you for sharing that with me. Trainer no, battle. I shouldn't be hating. Everybody, he's just really excited about what he's getting into, and I am too. So, if you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Okay. It's against the rules. I never understood about the Pokemon universe. It's, if two trainers lock eyes, and somehow they magically know that each other are trainers, then you have to battle them. There's no ifs, ands, or buts I would about love it if a shoe and sword, on one of the you optional moves, like cut and all that jazz, no what, H <laughs> like HMO9, and, uh, sunglasses, you, know, you can just like not have battle trainer battle battles. Trainer, some sort of police that just hop it only clips on to the your trainer. Pokemon, send you to prison or beat you with a nightstick you can't, or something. I really don't you can't understand. Turn it away. You don't make eye contact. You might notice something a little tiny bit different about Dishwater. She's level 8 now. And yeah, yeah, before I get into that, Dishwater is indeed a she. Everybody was pointing out in the comments in the last video, dude, your mudkip's a girl. And man, why you got... I, yeah, we I knew know that. she's a girl. I think that's awesome. You know, Dishwater, she's my dirty girl. She is amazing. And you know what? So she you did a little bit of grinding. Now. Okay, that's fine. a little bit higher. Her stats are a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and check her out, actually, because you know what? Having a girl on my team, hmm. you better not be bashing on her. She's gender sassy. She is sassy as hell. <laughs> I don't know. She where won't she be having my, none of that. Uh, she got torrent, which ups the, uh, water moves in a pinch. So mm -hmm. once you're um, picture goes, thing, you know, you know where my face the water moves that our water uses. I'm going to be over a freaking health bar power. anywhere, but and if I go in the like, right hand fighting. corner, I might you eventually my bug Pokemon, overtake the bug catcher. Overtake my yes, Pokemon. of course, every single region Although has maybe, to have these bug well, catchers, maybe, which like nothing point, more than really, really tiny, squishy worms shooting string shots at you and doing nothing else. And I swear that is Hey, it's an early bird. They're just going to make it easy. At least not it the guy who has six magic carps. Uh, Dishwater is now level 8 because I was too obsessed with the power, the sassy power. I was training outside of Little Root a little bit, and I didn't realize that I went too far and accidentally got her up to level 8. So now Oops. our starter Pokemon is level 9 this early in the game, which is, yeah, probably a little bit weird. But you know what? That's all right. We needed to take out the lights. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a bit of grinding. Rick, the true bane on our existence and i would be using mud slap right now except i don't think it's especially effective against bug type pokemon so we'll have to tackle on the other hand uh hold out on that rather make wormples part poison take out these wormples the ground. old fashioned way by squishing them with our enormous body weight and there we go we beat rick ow down and out you know i probably wouldn't have expected much all else, 64 uh, pokey if i had a team full of wormples i'm not very tall so i sink right into tall grass the grass <laughs> goes up my nose and ha 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 choo oh boy what the heck are you doing out here, little kid? You look like you're about five years old. If I'm ten and you are half my size, then there is a problem here. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Only difference is I'll yeah, actually beginners. move. I've beaten like a hundred beginners so far, man. I don't know what you're talking about, and I don't know what you're doing. And I have no idea what you're doing out here in the middle of the wild along with that little kid. Zig Zag your brother or something. What are all these people doing out here anyway? I really don't understand. And... I've never understood about the Pokemon universe that there are no buildings in every single city and, like, literally everybody's homeless, and it's super sad. And, guys, I just want you to know... It's a Pokemon I'm doing thing. this Let's Play to end poverty in Hoenn. It's truly, truly a sad fact, truly one of the tragedies of our age. And I just want to bring housing and a home to all the little Urban development. of the Hoenn region out there. And let's take out this Zigzagoon, because that's what we're doing. Zigzagoon... Is he's one gonna bring another zigzagoon. Route, I guess you could call it like the Ratata of this generation. Oh, because Taylor. he's super. Whoa! Do not mud slap that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, there, Taylo. Chill out, dude. You don't get a yell. Oh my god. Hey, he's really excited. Uh, Taylo is the only like early really gen, so like I really early. Don't know. For those oh, of you who don't, don't, don't know, which I <laughs> I'm about to say, Spiro. Taylo is the only early bird Pokemon that doesn't evolve twice. We are. But I forgot about Spiro, Spiro. 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 Either way, um, it's weird that we don't have a bird Pokemon that evolves Sapphire, a lot more than I played Emerald. Evolves two more. Actually, I never times. did a full Emerald playthrough, so this one is a new experience for me, and I'm really mm. enjoying it so far. I remember I when I experienced Emerald for the first Taylor time. If Taylor Sprite was so ridiculously excited in Ruby and then and I Sapphire, and then I lost the card because I never forgave myself. Thirty-seven experience points. We're level ten. We are way, way too powerful at this point in the game. Yep. 
That is ridiculous. We even have ourselves water gun. We've got a full four moves, and we've just started the game, man. In a few more levels, you're gonna have you're gonna be able to be, get a marsh stomp, dude. I I could beat you. We don't have one of Brock's Pokemon. High, assuming yeah, he did evolve like into Swamp. Before, I completely lost my train of thought. So let's go ahead and pick these berries over here. We found two orange berries. Yes, I would love to pick them. I'm an American, of course. I'm gonna destroy the environment. Well, actually, Put you're those Japanese. in the berries pocket, which is also an oddly specific pocket to have in a bag. And or we're gonna pick some archipelagos. Berries. Wait, no. berries, I really have no idea. Either the way, berries introduced in this game. I there were know. apricorns, I guess, in Generation Two. Berries have various effects. This one heals poison, for example, and well, the orange berry restores wrong, 10 HP. You get we them actually gave them and they will names. automatically activate when certain conditions are met. Like the uh, Pecha Berry will activate when you get poisoned. And oh my Good gosh, job, her. Really the skill. Did you? Ah. Uh -uh. Good <laughs> uh, job. Dang it, I felt so Dumbass. accomplished. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. No. Or I could stop it dead in its tracks right here and crush your dreams and your spirit. And you know what? That sounds a little bit more like fun. So, Dick. last Tiana, 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 whatever your name is. Oh, I, I want to take you, Milar. I'm going to destroy you with my <laughs> newfound water gun. And I kind of want to stop training uh, Dishwater a little bit because we are way, way, way higher. Well, you got to get our Pokemon first. And I'm not planning on catching Pokemon for a tiny little bit of time, so... We're gonna be you like can't catch Pokemon. Evolved Wait, no. May give you Pokeballs after actually you help with the <laughs> Professor okay, Birch's, we're fighting Shroomish. Uh, thing. This is a really interesting Pokemon, and his fully evolved form is super powerful. So, if you're looking something for hits, for, uh, Ooh, Shroomish for is, uh, that has really type hard, advantage and has a nice ability, I could be in trouble here. Oh no, he's only gonna do five damage. Level four Shroomish ain't it's nothing to our dishwater. We don't gotta worry about that. Oh, what am I doing? Don't open up that bag. Oh, Go yeah, Pokeball. One potion because I had to use one oh, earlier when I was have five training this thing. Right left. Oh, Either way, uh, Shroomish has a Unless special ability called Effect Spore, and if you make physical contact, it has a chance to paralyze or poison or put you to sleep. And that's a really, really good ability, especially early on in the game when uh, your Shroomish is actually going to be able to take hits. But he's just going to tackle the us. The only bad thing about Shroomish is that you got to wait to level 50 just for it to know Spore. It's so powerful that it can be Which means you got to miss on Braylon for a long time, and Braylon's a good battle, Pokemon. Man. You better not have accuracy problems throughout this Let's Play Dishwater. Oh, at least Braylon's good Either for way, a casual let's thing. Let's go ahead and tackle this guy one more time and get it's mock punch is a threat with our adventure go ahead and gain that 55 experience please don't level up because i don't I want like you to be any stronger than you already <laughs> are i don't want to i ended up furthering your career yes yes stop that i don't want to be stronger i want to give you guys at least a chance i mean i know we i'm don't unstoppable but come on all right got ourselves a potion to replenish the one we just lost and we can continue onward or be interrupted by yet another pokemon battle and here we have a zigzagoon but yes this is like the common uh, Pokemon of this generation, just like Rattata or something like that. I do like and his cry. He's not especially good, but he makes a great, a perfect and immaculate good. HM slave. And I might pick one up later just for that purpose. Why later? I Why wait? I have no Pokemon to have all the HMs when I need to. Did and here we are in Petalburg City. Whoa! For some reason, we live like five minutes from our dad instead of living in the same city as him. Or maybe he just makes the long, arduous trek home every night and we just don't know that. Either way. Thank you for waiting. Long, arduous trek. Five Thank minutes. Thank you so much. And there's the joy of the south because I think I think Cohen's to the south of all the other regions. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. I don't what know, do and quite say? frankly, I don't think the Pokemon universe cares. System. Whoever made it must be some kind of a scientific. We're going to Gen Eight, where there is apparently the eight different Little continents. Which surprisingly, like him, and, and only a few of them are connected. Well. So it's just like, like the traveling wait. nomad, and we'll see him again in our travels. Who knows? Either way, what do we have in Petalburg City? We have a different title card introducing the place. What do you have to say, friend? My face is reflected in the water. It's a shiny grin full of hope. Or it could be a look of somber silence struggling with fear. What do you see reflected in your face? No character. A whole bunch of sexy. And with that, let's continue. Look how advanced we are in the Game Boy Advance, everybody. We have your reflection. Right now. What do you have to say? Hi, you can also leave your, your footprints you know in tracks, which will reach a new blow town. your mind. Uh, get bothered by annoying blue my mind as a kid because I was a dumb kid. And they first check what kind of gym is in the town. Oh, man. That certainly is a gym. This is Petalburg City's gym. It's a gym. This is the gym sign. Look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. Or just look for the gigantic building that says Jim on it that is extremely distinct. Peter Norman, a man in pursuit of power. Oh yeah, let's go knock this guy off our pedestal. We can take him. Except as we saw on the TV earlier, this guy is actually our dad. And 
<laughs> Let's take a moment here to appreciate this guy's design. He's got the receding hairline. He's got the super plain shirt and the lifeless tie and that haircut. Oh, his everything outfit about him like a pulp in my sense, life is average. Like so what's some up, sort of Dad? Robe. How's it going? Hmm? Well, if it isn't Brian, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. And I guess you're going to be become a trainer like me, Brian. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. And who the heck are you? I kind of like your hair. Um, I, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Is everybody in the Hoenn region super duper shy or what? Evidently. Hmm? You're, uh... Oh, right. You're that forgettable kid, Wally, right? Forgettable. I'll stay with my relatives in Verdanto. Kid uh, sick. I thought I'd be lonely by myself. So well, they never clarify sick Aww, what? I'm hug Walter. Wal... 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 Walloid? Whatever your name is. I never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm. I see. Brian, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll lo loan you my Pokemon. And he gets a Zigzagoon. Oh, wow, a Pokemon. I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Wally received a Pokeball, so he received one of the trashiest Pokemon and one of the trashiest methods of capturing Pokemon. So, it's only wow, temporary. our dad truly is a generous guy. And here we are. Marching through the town, not saying a word to each other, because this Wally kid is kind of awkward. Either way, be funny if in the right. gym bow he like used this, his zigzagoon, okay. but doesn't. Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! And Wally is jumped by, in all his good fortune, one of the rarest Pokemon Ralts. this early in the game. He is jumped by a wild Ralts, and this is a psychic type Pokemon. I love the fact that in later gen, like literally the next gen, special attack they change it. They make the late. And is one of the uh, better psychic types of the So it's like this means that, and it just right like, off the bat, but. Okay, well, I like how male us, girl, male one right now, routes this is just don't the have to wear a dress, Pokemon, and, oh, but it's not going to go through curly, yeah, which means no they still have to wear a tutu. That Ralts is just going to keep probably on one of those things that just kind of like... only move mm. at this point in the game, so he doesn't even need the Pokeball or the Zigzagoon. I don't mean, know, the problem is that or anything like that, it's just one of those things where just like... Pull this thing off the ground and carry it with him. And I have no idea how he's going to train this thing either, because if he's only going to have the one Pokemon, I guess he'll just have it and teleport itself until it faints out of boredom or something either way struggle that Pokeball, everything Wally, get over this i'm not especially a fan of these teaching you how to catch pokemon segments i like i would prefer them to be optional but you know what a skip the button one is probably the best of gens one through four to be honest because it's creative it's different it's in character development least, and it introduces a character that we're actually going to see throughout the rest of the game i did it it's my it's my pokemon brian thank you let's go back to the gym all right and we don't have to endure the long awkward walk back so, did it work out? No. No, it just growled at me the whole time. <laughs> Dumb jokes. Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's hey, your got me. Back. Brian, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. She made me chicken noodle soup and a really nice dinner. Good for you. Brian, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. Oh, wait, you are. Leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Brian. R but not right now, because I think so highly of myself that I'm sure you couldn't beat me. That's only after you become stronger. And it's you know funny, because in the anime, right. would demolish Ash fought Norman right immediately. Now. Just I have the fact that... Dishwater. Vigoroth probably can take on this gym Pikachu can keep up Vigoroth. So, hello there, gentlemen. I don't really remember what the reasoning was. I think it was just more like Vigoroth just had better tactics or something like that. Like PC connection. It's kind of weird that everybody in this universe talks about one thing and one thing alone. I mean, uh, Pokemon are pretty special, and I can see how they might uh, encapsulate everybody. But and then again, this is still back in the days. You'd be like, "Hey, this is back when Pikachu could be completely lose." Whereas now, it just kind of feels like, "Dude, that was work. That was not fun." It's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. Oh, I think Level 5,000, everybody. Sorry. Sent him to stay with my relatives in oh. Turf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there to, than it is here. At least he didn't lose to a snipe. He's already left, our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. Who knows? Hey, you look exactly like Professor Birch's wife. You got some wife swap going on here, or what? <laughs> Wally was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. You know what, guys? We did a good thing today, and that's my good deed for the year 2014. Series Glad ends. I got that out of the way. Whoa, who are you in the cool shades? I don't remember there? you. Excuse me. Let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? No. Oh, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. I own a washing machine. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. 
some room in the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. Yo, ho, ho, come back here. F you, you want too? Back? I will prove you wrong. Might be some guy related to Pokemon contests. People just making assumptions about us left and right. You know what, in this video, we haven't caught any Pokemon or anything, but there is some way for us to go. What do you have to say? If you're going to throw a Pokeball, we can allow Pokemon first. All right, he's yes, teaching us how to catch Pokemon, even though we just got taught how to catch Pokemon. So I don't understand the point of all this. Is our dishwater healed up? I forget. Yes, she is. She is at level 10. Whoa, what are you doing there, buddy? Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. You know what? That's my favorite summer hobby as well. That's all I do. I just go out to the beach and leave footprints. Don't build sandcastles. Don't go swimming. Don't fight don't with get, my mystical Don't get make sandcastles. It's a Pokemon now. Belt that would be more fun in doing than it's one, has one of the most it has one of the darkest terror I just Pokemon leave the next entry ever. That is the mark it fucking eats Pokemon and leaves their bones and is made of Pokemon bugs. It's like, right what the fuck, Game Freak? Even what are you doing? At some point, I just think to myself, like, you know, no one reads these Pokemon entries. Let's just be a bunch of monsters. So he, uh, he's gonna send out C dot. This was youngster, what, Billy? Billy, Billy Bob Thornton. Why is it that okay. fucking uh, Palosan, a literal so, pile of sand, he has a more terrifying more Pokedex entry than more, something like Garchomp or Salamence? I, kind of I don't know if this attack is going to kill. Can so you do hell? it? No, you no. can't. Oh, boy. Uh oh, bide. I'm going to pay the price for that one. Oh, shit! You're dead! <laughs> Seriously? Did that really just happen? Yep. Oh, my God. White it out. In episode two. Surprisingly paying money. <laughs> Excuse me while we go cry for a couple hours. I would have restarted right, the game. Alright, here we are back on the beach, and clearly youngster Billy is just far too much for us to Catch handle. Catch a tail or something. Ooh, I don't even know what happened there. Careful, but you're about to find a rich kid with his rich zigzagoon. What do you have to say, little miss? I got Seaside Cottage of where Mr. Briney lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. That is kind of interesting. Are you in here, Mr. Briney? How's no. it going? Roar, Piku. Let's some coffee on the table. Thank you. I will take that. But his house is empty, unfortunately. And as much as I want to destroy his pottery, unfortunately, we are unable to do that in such oh, a game. That, and you okay, know what? So Let's pick the like, oh, and, and, uh, Ruby. I said, pick the orange berries, please. I would like those very much. Why aren't you putting any of the berries on? Uh, yeah. Dishwater with one of these. Maybe. Before Dang, it didn't matter when it was biting. This water is a little bit too frail to handle the entire world Even though it's level 10. Yes. Don't worry, everybody. I'm going to be catching a new I'll have my level 10, very, 10, very I'll have my level 10 dishwater a berry on fight dishwater that level 80 really uh, Deoxys. She deserves a little bit of a snack when she gets tired. So there we go. You can hold on to that orange berry just in case of emergency. And we're going to fight this little lass. We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? No. Uh, yes. You may ask away, and I am not allowed to deny you. And you have a very, very frilly dress. Lady mm. Cindy would like to battle. And this is another class of trainers, the uh, rich ones. You have ladies and rich boys. And rich boys a lot more direct than lady, I know. But these trainers, after you meet them, will give fancy. you like $14 billion every time. So every time you see one of these, you're going to want to go But they're slightly them, harder to battle, considering they have higher and, uh, levels. I, I might be now, because but after you we out, over -level you them. a little bit of money or give it to the other trainer and apparently that's one of the other unspoken laws of pokemon trainerhood is that you have to pay the trainers that you lose to and that's how the economy works in this universe oh my we got 1400 poke dolls so whatever we just lost to that little rascal youngster billy back there we have gained back so don't worry you'll lose him again at the foot of Petalburg forest welcome to the first dungeon of the game and Dungeon. Herein, we will catch the next member of our Cascoon. Team. It's not this thing. This is one of the evolutions <laughs> of Wormpole. And I say one of the evolutions of Wormpole because it can evolve into one of two lines completely at random. And Based you know on what? gender. I'm not interested in something that think it's only hardened, so let's go ahead and search around a bit. Oh, or fuck's sake. All right, bugs. So I just should have caught a Pokemon. Oh, boy, a Wormpole. Oh, boy, another Wormpole. Oh, man, a third Wormpole. And I wonder what his final Pokemon could possibly be. Will Go, be Gyarados! Alakazam, will it be... Oh my gosh, it's another I Wormpole. want at what one point, can... Nintendo just straight and up fucked with us. Go, Lyle and got a five Magikarps and Arceus. You know just like, what? We could search what? around <laughs> and find the next 
member of our team, I would be internally happy for that. I'm going to go ahead and do then that right now. Then Arcus like, Arceus is transformed. We're off. It turned into All right, a magic here we go. It's Excited like, oh. as this thing is, the second member of our team is going to be this Taylor right here. So let's send out our dishwater and try and not to... Use Mud Slap. It, it won't do anything. Apparently, I'm dumb. I thought you could find Talos in um, Petalburg Forest. And perhaps you can, but I was having absolutely no luck doing that. So this thing is going to focus chance. its energy and probably peck our ears off or something. Look at how excited it is. It is. God, it is intimidating just looking at it. So let's chuck a Pokeball well, at it. Focused. And here we go. Can we get ourselves our first team member aside from Dishwater? No, we no, can't. It's not geez. even going to wiggle once. Oh, boy. This is just going to go exceedingly well. I am absolutely sure. Our attack is going to go down, but you know what? That's all right. Dishwater doesn't mind Grouse. At some point, just really keep growling at me so I can one more time. probably hurt and you less on, and get some more damage in to get <sighs> to <doing laughs> What are you doing? And I always love those captions on the um, failed Pokeball attempts. It says, oh, it appeared to be caught, except that it didn't whatsoever. It appeared to be a third it's of basically the way caught. Shoot, so can close. we do this? Do I actually need to go back and buy more Pokeballs? Because... Come on. Ah, okay, we got two. Arg, we got two. Hat. We are close. I can afflict this thing with a status condition, unfortunately, because if you didn't know, if the Pokemon is asleep or paralyzed, the uh, chance of catching it will be much higher. But can we do this in two? But we don't have can any we of get the uh, a Taylor, status one conditions. of the most common Pokemon in the game. Yes, yes. we can. So common we couldn't find is it. The second member of our oh, team. So wait, that's, that's why Taylor. you were in the uh, freaking thing. And you were trying to catch was Taylor. Out of the or hers? Was it a female? It will take take on a larger Skarmory on equal foot. No bullshit, you will. Terrified right now. I'll take on a larger Skarmory on an equal. You're a fucking thing. normal type fighting a steel type. You ain't going near Skarmory. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have the tiny swallow Pokemon Taylor, and actually, I haven't thought about this thing's nickname too much. Uh, we got to give it something though. Oh, and it is a female. So what do we got? Hmm. Let's think about. We're gonna get an all girls team. All right. You know what? I just got done. <laughs> Swallow the ship of the ring. And unfortunately, we're one character short of being able to spell this correctly. But Taylo is gonna take on the name Swallow Ship. And for those of you who know anything about Taylo, you know that its evolution is named Swallow. Either way. I think that's going to have to do with this episode of Pokemon Emerald because a lot of crap happened and my Pokemon are tired as hell right now. Swallow Shape just lost her freedom and we have <laughs> Forever. two female team members and I'm actually planning on the next member of my team to be female as well. So I guess <laughs> girl, girl power is going to be the girl team power. Play, but yes, uh, Taylor the Girl power as you picked the boy. Is tired as hell. To play ass. Dishwater but you didn't has know. gone through a lot today. Lost to Youngster Billy. But you know what? We'll pick it up in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald where we take on Petalburg Forest for real and head on through the first dungeon of the game. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you guys next time where we continue on our adventure.